so hello everyone and a very good evening to all of you so nabad examination as we all know is about to uh, come now and around one month ab bacha hai aapke examination mein so i hope your preparations are going well and to boost up your preparations i am conducting daily sessions for ard current affairs and government schemes in today's session we are going to talk about the ard current affairs from last week of july and this is because tuesday ka session nahi ho paya tha that is why the session is being conducted today और राइट एंड जो अगला सेशन होगा फिर हम उसमें अगस्त के फर्स्ट वीक के क्वेश्चन उठाएंगे ए आर डी करंट अफेयर्स के एंड वीकली सेशन आर इनफ फॉर ए आर डी करंट अफेयर्स बिकॉज ए आर डी में कोई बहुत ज्यादा करंट अफेयर्स होते नहीं है और जो होते हैं वो हम पी आई बी सेशन के थ्रू ऑलरेडी कवर कर चुके होते हैं ठीक है सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द सेशन टूडे बट बिफोर वी बिगिन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू हैव द पी डी एफ ऑफ दिस सेशन यू कैन ज्वाइन द टेलीग्राम चैनल द लिंक इज प्रोवाइडेड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू वेस्ट द एग्जामिनेशन दिस ईयर यू कैन ज्वाइन द क्रैश कोर्स The live crash course, the live classes crash course, which has been launched for NABARD grade examination, right? And for all the other regulatory bodies exam as well, like RBI, NCB, we have launched the live class courses. So you can uh, enroll in these classes. Okay. So let's talk about the very first question, which says, which ministry has launched ministers' dashboard for monitoring and reporting real-time scheme data of identified schemes being implemented by the ministry? so basically this dashboard uh, will help the minister okay will help the minister in charge of this ministry to monitor and uh, you know to monitor the schemes which are being implemented by this ministry okay the ministry in question guys is the ministry of <clears throat> fisheries animal husbandry and dairy and this ministry has launched this dashboard for uh, monitoring and reporting the real time scheme data sorry and in analyzing the schemes key performance indicators but you must be wondering which schemes are this kaun si scheme ko monitor kiya jayega right so the schemes for which this dashboard has been launched are these number one livestock health and disease control program national livestock mission animal husbandry infrastructure development fund national program for dairy development fund rashtra gokul mission supporting dairy cooperatives and farmer producer organizations and dairy processing and infrastructure development fund basically for all the schemes of this ministry this dashboard has been launched and this dashboard will be used by the minister for obtaining real time data and for analyzing the key performance indicators of all the schemes okay so therefore the correct answer is what option b ministry of fisheries animal husbandry and dairy moving ahead to question number 2 how much financial assistance will be provided to beneficiaries under focus plus scheme being implemented by the government of meghalaya so focus scheme just focus not focus plus focus scheme is already under implementation by the government of meghalaya and now that focus has been upgraded to focus plus with more focus on farmers right with more focus on farmers so that is why i have taken this question in this ard current affairs part so this focus plus will be Uh, will uh, focus more on the farmers of the state of meghalaya right so let's talk about it so focus plus and there is a focus a uh, full form of focus as well that is farmers collectivization for upscaling production and marketing systems right farmers collectivization for upscaling production and marketing system is the full form of focus and from the full form we can uh, uh, full form as hum ye andaaza laga sakte hain that this scheme is meant for farmers only right so focus plus scheme now focus has been upgraded to focus plus now here you have to remember one more thing as well that this scheme is being implemented by state of meghalaya this can also be asked in the exam that which uh, state is implementing this focus plus scheme so in that case the answer would be meghalaya so how the government is providing support to the farmers so it will help in advancing the development of agriculture value chain this focus will help the farmers in development of advance agriculture value chains and for that rupees 5000 as financial assistance will be provided to the beneficiary farms 5000 rupees unko diye jayenge all right so therefore the correct answer is what option d rupees 5000 because that is the amount of uh, financial assistance that will be provided under focus plus scheme by the government of meghalaya question number 3 the government of bihar is implementing बिहार डीजल अनुदान योजना टू प्रोवाइड सब्सिडी ऑन डीजल फॉर एग्रीकल्चर यूज अनुदान मींस सब्सिडी अनुदान मींस वो सब्सिडी 
So from the name of the scheme, it is clear that the government, the Bihar government is providing subsidy on diesel for agricultural purpose only. Remember this, this diesel, this subsidy on diesel is provided only for the agricultural purposes. It is not that you are giving diesel for your car, subsidy is giving Bihar government. It is not that, right? So under the scheme, the farmers can receive a subsidy of how much amount per acre per month up to a maximum of 8 acres, right? So the financial assistance, the subsidy is provided uh, for diesel for agricultural purposes, but up to maximum 8 acres of land. Okay, and how much do you get? Rupees 600 per acre per month. In a month, in 600 rupees per acre, the maximum 8 acres of uh, land, the Bihar government is providing this subsidy on diesel, right? And therefore, the correct answer is what? This is not the question. Yeah, it is option C, rupees 600. All right, moving ahead to question number four. And total 10 questions are there. How much amount per acre will be provided to farmers of Haryana for dragon food, fruit cultivation under Meri Fasal Mera Biora Yojana? Dragon fruit is also known as Kamlam. Right, Kamlam. By the government, government ne abhi isko ek naya naam diya. By the way, Kamlam. Right, so dragon fruit ke cultivation ke liye, the government of Haryana is providing some financial assistance to the farmers of Haryana under a scheme which is being implemented by Haryana that is Meri Fasal Mera Biora Yojana. Right, so baat kar lete kya hai? Financial assistance of rupees 1.20 per lakh per acre will be provided for dragon fruit cultivation and this financial assistance will be provided in this form Rupees 50,000 grand for planting saplings. 50,000 rupees saplings to plant karne ke liye in three yearly installments of rupees 30,000 in the first year and rupees 10,000 each in second and third year. Right? 1,20,000 per acre for dragon fruit cultivation and 50,000 grand for planting the saplings. Right? And this 50,000 will be provided in three yearly installments of rupees 30,000 in the first year and 10,000 each in second and third. All right. And yes, do you remember this Meri Fasal Mera Biora Yojana is the scheme of government of Haryana. Okay. Therefore, the correct answer is option C, rupees 1.20 lakhs. Aage chalte question number 5, which is CSIR, Central Institute of Medicinal and Aromatic Plants, CIMAP, which is in Lucknow. It is located in Lucknow. Do you remember this? Has signed an MOU with Chennai based Sattva Vaid Nature's Global Private Limited for cultivation of Artemisia plant. Right? Artemisia plant ke cultivation ke liye this MOU has been signed. Right? The question is the plant is used for making a drug Artemisinin. Artemisinin. So which disease is treated with the drug? The question is this. Right? So let's talk about this news. Remember this MOU has been signed between these two organizations. One is a company. Okay? Chennai based company which is Sattva Vaid Nature's Global Private Limited and another is CSIR CMAP. For what the objective is for cultivation and processing technology of anti-malarial plant which is known as what Artemisia and this plant anti-malarial plant Artemisia is used in the production of drug which is known as Artemisinin. Right Artemisinin and before that we were dependent on uh, China. Actually, today we import from China this plant. Earlier, the country was heavily reliant on China, which is the largest and natural grower of Artemisia. China is the largest grower of Artemisia across the world. This is also worth remembering. And therefore, the correct answer is option A, malaria, because malaria is treated with this drug, which is formed from a plant which is known as Artemisia. All right. Moving ahead to question number 6, which district administration of Kerala has launched Agri Nutri Garden Project in Chitta Tukara Panchayat of the state? So basically the question is, in which district Chitta Tukara Panchayat is located in Kerala, right? So this is Ernakulam. Ernakulam district administration has launched Agri Nutri Garden Project in this Panchayat Chitta Tukara and of course, uh, as the name suggests, it is for supporting every rural poor households to have this agri nutri garden for their personal use and agar surplus mein bach hai, so they can sell the products as well. Alright. And of course this project has been launched under Kudumbashri mission of the Kerala government. Right. There is a mission of Kerala government Kudumbashri uh, Kudumb mission 
under that mission this agri nutri garden project will be installed for rural households all right so therefore the correct answer is option e ernakulam because that is the district where this project has been launched moving ahead to question number 7 name the electronic trading platform launched by rubber board for creating an e market for rubbers before coming to the answer you have to tell me where are the headquarters of rubber board write down in the comment section rubber board ka headquarter kahan pe hai so this is m rube right this is m rube rubber board has launched its electronic trading platform and of course as the name suggest it will enable the buyers and sellers to have the details of the buyers and to have the details of the sellers and it will make convenient for the buyers to buy the rubber products right and the name of the platform is what m rube the technical partner in this m rube is i sourcing technology which is an amdavad company theek hai i source technology all right and therefore the correct answer is what m rube option c is the correct answer aage chalte hain question number 8 ki taraf which state government has launched pandit din dayal upadhyay kisan samriddhi project to transform barren lands into arable lands theek hai barren lands ko arable lands mein convert karne ke liye which state has uh, launched this project which is kisan samriddhi project all right so this is up government this is government of up which has launched the scheme kisan samriddhi or you can say the project kisan samriddhi project and the objective was already mentioned in the question this project has the objective of converting the uh, you know barren lands into the arable lands the total cost is 603 crores the agriculture department of up uttar pradesh has set a goal of altering the status of 2.1 lakh hectares of unproductive land for agricultural purposes right and yes i have one more question for you let's see ki kitne log iska answer kar sakte hain there is a target of government of india at, uh, that was set up under un triple c d of converting barren lands into uh, arable lands what is that target write down in the comment section all districts except gautam buddh nagar will be covered under the scheme and why gautam buddh nagar is not covered because wahan pe agricultural purposes agriculture zyada prevalent nahi hai this is due to minimal agriculture activities in the district all right that is why uh, it has been excluded therefore the correct answer is what option b uttar pradesh question number 9 pe aa jate with which of the following organizations coffee board has signed an mou for breeding climate resilient varieties of coffee and assessing the carbon sequestration Uh, potential in coffee coffee board is headquartered in karnataka i believe you all know this okay and this organization is isro option a is the correct answer very easy question and very direct question this is just an mou signed between isro and coffee board and the objective is already mentioned in the question okay isro is the correct answer and the last question for today which state government has announced to give an incentive of rupees 50000 under mahatma jyotiba phule crop loan scheme to farmers who obtain crop loans and return them on time so if any farmer in this state uh, obtain a crop loan and return it on the time then uh, this state government under this scheme which is mahatma jyotiba phule crop loan scheme is providing an incentive of rupees 50000 and the state in question guys is maharashtra option d is the correct answer and that's it for today's session i hope all the questions and their explanations are clear If you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section and I will see you tomorrow in a brand new session of government schemes with a brand new government scheme all right so thank you so much goodbye take care and god bless